Hello everyone. Hi, welcome to Chrissy's Beauty Closet. Um, I have been, this is a whole face, almost, almost a full face of all new products, um, new foundation. I tried out a bunch of new stuff. So um, if you guys want to know how I feel about those new products and um, how they worked out and how I got this look, well then I need you to keep on watching. Okay guys, now I have to figure out which palette I want to dip into. I have three palettes I want to test out, okay? We have the Persona Cosmetics one that we got in our BoxyCharm. Remember that one? I swatched it for you guys, beautiful. I do have on a purple shirt, so. We have the Pure Defense Anti-Pollution Palette. I, it's beautiful packaging. I got this in, in add-ons and I have not swatched it yet, but it, look at that. It looks swatched though, doesn't it? It kinda does. At least, oh wait, I did swatch this. I'm, I'm retarded. I was about to say. <laughs> I'm an idiot sometimes, not all the time. Okay, and then we have the Kenya, I don't know how to, I will butcher her last name, but Ortiburos, Ortiburos, not Ortiburos, this is it. You got three highlighters, three blushes, beautiful, beautiful. Everything has some beautiful packaging. And then we have the Ace Butte Glow Palette. We have a lot, a lot to choose from. And then we have the Wondrous Beauty Palette. So, I'm trying all new products today. Almost everything is brand new. Almost everything I'm going to be putting on is brand new. Um, so we have a lot to go through. It might be a little bit longer than normal. I know you guys are used to me dragging on videos, but no, this one might be a little bit longer because I want to try to put as much of this stuff in a video as I can. I got some bus brushes from ColourPop. This is my first set of ColourPop brushes, I believe. I have lots of BH Cosmetics brushes, which is kind of what this reminds me of. I like the little cup things that came in. I showed this in uh, my unboxing video of these, but I am gonna try these out in this video today. So um, I have done my brows with my normal Brow by Rima bar, bar, Brow by Rima. Dude, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I have not set them. Um, I did, I put my, eyeshadow primer on as my ace butte eyeshadow primer so where do we begin i am wearing purple but i don't believe this has oh this has a purple right there and it's a purple shimmer that's beautiful okay let me see what's in here oh this is a purple shimmer too oh crap guys okay no purple shimmer here but where we're going to start off with this palette is laying down maybe our crease colors and stuff this packaging is absolutely stunning though you guys like it's got a um, it's got like a 3d thing you move it a certain way and you see the pollution the smoke it says pure defense anti-pollution eyeshadow palette. Don't ask me what that means. Cause why would eyeshadow palettes be pollute polluting anything? But don't know. Um yeah, for that purple, I think I can just play a little bit in all three of the palettes and bring the colors together. So with this one we're gonna dip into this shade right here called Passionate. 
which is very pretty with our ColourPop E17. I forgot which collection this was that I grabbed, but it, they're very soft, very soft. And I like the handles. They, they, they look, they feel wooden, but I'm not sure. I don't know, but they do, they feel wooden. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with Passionate. I've been so busy and haven't been doing my makeup at all. It makes me, I, I almost feel like, do I even remember what I'm doing? Hopefully it's like riding a bike. I'm gonna put that in the crease and then just buff that out and over. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a gorgeous shade and it's very pigmented. Like very pigmented. Ooh, I'm liking it. I don't know how it's gonna match with my purple shade, but they're in the same palette. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. I like it. I like when I can put a shade on and you know blend it out with not much effort at all. Especially, I just got out of work. I worked today already. Then I came home. I'm going to record. And took the puppy for a walk already. And um, just got to get dinner done with, with the kids after this. My youngest son's been cooking with me a lot. And it's been very, very nice. I love that. That quality time we've been spending together. Those are memories being made. That's something you can't buy. And it's something he won't forget, hopefully. Teaching him how to cook. He's 15. He already knows how to cook. Well, I've already taught him the, the basics, like, you know, pancakes, eggs. He knows that type of stuff. But I'm teaching him meals, like, and how to flavor the food with, with real, with real ingredients. Like, with, not with seasoning, salts and stuff. With, with showing him how to chop garlic and onion and, and, and potatoes and, and rosemary and, you know, that type of thing, teaching him how to season for real. Stuff that if need be one day and we have to um, grow things in a garden, he'll know absolutely how to use it all, even when I'm not around. So that's the purpose of it. I wish my oldest son was more into it, but he's not. He's not at all. Let's see, what's next? I don't know, um, cause I wanna, I kinda wanna use them both. One is a little bit lighter than the other, so we're gonna take the deeper one, which is in the pure palette, and we're gonna put that here, and then we're gonna use the lighter one here, and then in the inner part, and then we'll buff everything out with a, a shade of something else. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. We're not doing a, a, a real, these shadows are so, so soft. And why did I grab this brush? They're so soft and buttery. I want a very flat, but I want it to be smaller than this. This is a big old paddle brush like that. I want a flat one like that, but not a, not such a big one. Cause my eyes aren't that big. All right, I'll take this dark one. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna use it. Hopefully I don't have the wowzers. That's very dark, way darker than I thought. I might have to, um, 
Okay, I'm gonna have to deepen that outer V very much. I did not know that was so dark. That's beautiful though, but it's not as shimmery as I thought it was going to be. Maybe if I, I might have to use my finger after the fact, you know, after I get it all situated because goodness, usually you go lighter with the eyes down this way, but gee, I did not realize that was going to be that dark. I'm not mad at it. I'm just shocked. <laughs> That's all. I wouldn't have used it right now. Like, I definitely would use it because it's gorgeous. But I just wouldn't have used it right this second. Because I already had it. I didn't. <laughs> I just didn't know. So hopefully I have not ruined this completely. I'm sure I have not. Maybe. I'm not sure in case you haven't been able to tell. That's the other side of the brush and that's the persona one. And that one is almost just as dark. almost just as dark it's like oh you're about to make a deep smoky eye you were not planning on making and probably don't even know how to you guys know i'm scared of dark colors this time they have been forced upon me i did not know okay yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to do it, aren't we? Yep, yes we are. Let me see. I'm gonna have to get some of this. There is a there is a deep black in both of them. Okay, I'm going to have to take a little bit of the black. I'm I'm gonna take it out of the persona. Sheesh, jet black guys, like jet black and I just dipped it like pew, pew. jet black I'm just going to tap that out here in the outer V to just deepen it out so that it all mixes together you know what I'm saying that's all My dog's in the back, in case you hear her. Back there, she must be getting into something because I hear her. All right. I hate my summer. I'm so scared of black. You guys just don't know. I always somehow end up going way too far with it and it, it just looks horrible which is almost kind of what I've already done here. Like way too black with it. I don't know how I do it. Like at all. You know? Well, no, it doesn't look like horrible. Like, well, like I, I like I'm saying it does, but it kind of, it. All right, there we go. That's a little better. I have went all drama out. Like, I don't know where, I don't, I, I'm not going anywhere. 
nowhere, guys. That's crazy. <laughs> but I have made a super duper smoky eye out. <laughs> okay. It's not, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. It's not the worst. Because I have absolutely had to come back from way worse than this. Fucking messing up stuff. Thinking one thing is one color and it's absolutely not. It's completely another. Alright. Fill in the dark part. We're gonna go back with our dark purple and our lighter purple and just what we had already done, we're just going back and doing that again. Okay, we lost any of it messing with this black. That's such a gorgeous, gorgeous purple. And I hope you guys can see these little shimmers that are all over in it. Cause they are everywhere. Okay, now time for me to take a brush, just a little fluffy brush like that. I'm going to dip it right back into a little bit of my Passionate, not a lot of it, just a little bit, just so you see a little dusting of it on there. And I'm going to take that right around these edges here. Just blend it out a little bit so that it doesn't seem so harsh everywhere. much better in my view in my eyes it is all right there we go yes 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 and yes okay we still have to you know it'll be good once we finish that part up the bottom and everything else but get this stuff out of my way for a second I have a new primer to try. It's called By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Primer. All right, I just got this in my BoxyCharm. February Premium. I've not tried it yet. It says it is blurring and all this other stuff. So we will see. It is definitely a little bit tacky, which is nice. You know, your makeup will stick to that. It is a little blurring. Yes, I will say that. Not like super blurring, but it does blur. set of filler but it's nice I like it tackiness tends to go away a little bit I and mean, then it's it's just like really smooth really smooth I like it And 
And like I said the last time, it's just a regular squeezy tube. I've never tried anything by Terry before. Um, so let's hope everything's all good with this. Um, give her on this little first impression review on this primer while it sets in. Let me get my, um, I'm going to use the Ultra Late T. I don't know why they put this Late T in. That's the same thing that's on my Lancome, but this one is by Chanel. I'm going to be trying my Chanel um, foundation. See how this works, see how it looks. See how it blends and all that good stuff. I did not get my, um, you know what? I gotta get my, what you call it, wet. Let me get my, my sponge wet real quick. Cause I have this um, new sponge I want to, to try that I said I was gonna be trying this one. The Miracle Sponge, so. We'll be trying this out too. Half my face with the Miracle Sponge and half my face with the, with the, my LaRue's brush. So give me one second, we're gonna go wet my sponge and stuff and I'll be right back. All right, sponge is wet. And this one didn't grow enough. I don't think it was supposed to get wet. I don't think I was supposed to wet this. Miracles. Maybe it's supposed to be dry. Well, you know what? I might still have those. Because I just opened it. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Medium to full coverage. Use with foundation, concealer. Use damp or dry to apply foundation wet before first use. Okay. Well, I guess I didn't do anything wrong then. This is like more than damp. Okay, here we go. Ouch. Now, we're going to, yes. Half with this, like the little pump one here. Oh, it's like three and a half little pumps here. Not bad at all so far. I like how it's blending out. The shade match is like, it look, doesn't look really nice underneath these. Actually, it doesn't look too bad either right there. But um, in person, it looks great. Yeah, in person, that looks like spot on almost. That looks great. This one is very textured. I'm not quite sure if I like that, you know, the textured of it. But other than that, the application is nice. You know, nice, simple, it looks good. Not mad at it, so. No complaints. Brush. I'm only gonna use two because I feel like the other is a little bit too much. So.
I'm not sure. Yeah, right off the, you know, there's a little bit more coverage with the brush. But that's to be expected. I'm sorry, I'm trying to look really close in the mirror to see if it's all streaky and stuff, and it's it's not streaky. It's not streaky at all. And it actually looks really nice. <sighs> sorry guys, my nose. The more, the later it gets, the allergies get worse and worse. Even my puppy has allergies. I bought her some um, allergy puppy pills and they've been working great for her. I wish mine worked great for me. Otherwise she'd be back there sniffling and sneezing and you'd be like, oh, that poor girl. I know, okay. So I like it either way. Uh, What do you guys think? This is just one go round too. That's the sponge side. This is the brush side. I used a little bit less with the brush and it still came out pretty even if you ask me. Um, yeah, I like, I like it. I like it a lot. So, so far. Um, that's on initial application. Like we still do have one more foundation to try. We still have our Natasha Denona one to fill, to fill, <laughs> to try. This one's called the Transfer Matte Pour Vanna Sheen Matte Foundation. Maybe we should have tried this one first, but we're gonna try this one next time, okay? We still have lots of makeup to test. Um, uh, so we're trying the Lancome that tint whatever bullshit word all over concealer this might be a little bit too light for me oh i like that uh doe foot though it's shaped differently very much so you see that i like that that's perfect to get like right in there oh yeah she's light okay I don't want to go to, I don't want to, yeah, I don't, I don't want too much because she's very light. Okay. But I really do love the packaging of this. It is very fancy. And the top is just like the, the, this. The only thing is this is a frosted glass and this is like a shiny, very shiny glass. But very pretty, very pretty packaging nonetheless. Like very pretty packaging. Scoot over guys. All right, now we're going to uh, take our little tiny sponge and uh, start blending that out. Okay, because I wanted to make sure I didn't use too much you know you can always add more but it's really hard to take away when we're talking about makeup you know and that's perfect that's perfect and i really like how that turned out actually Ooh, if that's all i gotta use of that that should have lasted me forever like forever guys All right. 
dang i like that i'm really liking that a lot i'm liking how that looks on the skin i'm liking how that blended out oh yeah oh yeah that's my first time a ever trying that one that's that's nice that looks very beautiful under the eyes very beautiful That's perfect. There we go. Hmm. I really thought that was gonna be like a white, almost white on me, but turned out to be pretty nice that's beautiful i like that i like that a lot mm -hmm. did i have a new setting powder what is this no no i don't that's the only thing i don't got new guys i believe is the setting powder really okay I don't need one, but you guys know what I'm going to use, my low lock as always, and I'll grab my fluffy brush out of here to apply my my powder start it under the eyes like I always do this brush is so soft I really like that tickles my nose when I do this. All right. I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. No complaints here. None at all. I don't have a new blush because I'm not using that. Um, I do have a new blush, but I don't use um, what you call it? I don't use um, <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, cream products at all on my face because I have such oily skin and it's starting to get warm outside. And that's the last thing I want to do to my skin because it's already starting to act up on me. So I will put that in a giveaway, but it is absolutely beautiful. The palette itself is, I have, it's in my unboxing video. Um, so I'm going to use my Ace Butte blush palette and I'm just going to use this light, my light pink blush over here. It's nice and, um, What's the word? It's um, it's it's just light. It's light. It's light and springy, and that's the look I'm going for today. I got a lot going on with the eyes, so you know I, I don't want too much to be going on with the cheeks and everywhere else. But I do, I do love this palette. It's, it's a nice palette going on there. Oh, shoot. I forgot to contour. 
Guys, you guys ain't reminding me nothing. You guys ain't say nothing. Like, Christy, wait, stop. Oh, crap. And I do have another palette to use that I forgot all about. Damn it. This one, guys. You didn't remind me to do this one either. We got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do. That's why I can't remember to bronze because my head is everywhere. I really don't need to bronze, but I will contour. I mean, bronze to her a little bit. Taking my Ace Butte palette, hit the side here. See that? Palette. Very, very pigmented. Gorgeous. than that before <laughs> before I realized no thanks to you guys telling me thanks didn't warn me at all alright like that okay Underneath the eyes, we got sticky underneath of them. I am going to take the, just the dark purple from the Pure palette. Just right. Just right down a little bit. Yep, just like that. And then I'm gonna take the light, lighter purple pink thing here. Like, like, yeah, it's like purple pink. Looks nice, okay. And then I'm going to take the, I'm gonna take this silver, this beautiful silver right here. And we're gonna pop that in the inner corner. Oh, that's not silver, that's like gunmetal. Ooh, we're gonna mix that a little bit with the white yes like that that's perfect all right that works that works out yes that does all right that color is absolutely stunning 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 See that? Yes, yes. Put that bra brow. <laughs> Put that brow. Put that under my brow bone. And then we're going to. Yes. Mm hmm. Not till we're going to do that one. Oh, shoot. I had a freaking blush. You guys didn't remind me. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to use some anyway. Let's see. Oh, 
I'll go grab some of that. The center one. Ooh, baby, that's some pigment there. You can see that one. All right. And I just did that, that, that. That's so cute. I like it. I like it. But I hope it's not a lot of blush on camera. It's not right here, but it might be on camera. Where's my other? What do I do with my other brushes, guys? Oh, here we go. Dacracy. Okay. I think I'm going to use this one instead. Um, which one? This one for the highlighter, right? Okay. So, which highlighter, guys? Should we go in with like the icy pink? Or, because we got this glow palette too that I haven't dipped into yet either. This has an icy pink as well. So, it has a purple too called Poppin'. That's probably just gonna look ashy on my skin too. But we're gonna see. He doesn't. You guys can't see the purple though. Like, I don't think it shows up on camera, but it is purple. Oh, that's gorgeous. I normally wouldn't have picked this color at all because I would have thought, oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, Chrissy, it's time to stop. <gasps> Bam, you guys seen that? I think you caught the purple of it. Oh. That's a very universally sh shattering, flattering shade. Shattering flade. It really is. That's that's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Stunning. Okay. Now, I know I got a new black... Nothing special, just a black eyeliner. And I got a few lip liners and lipsticks to give them la la. Uh, lip liner, I think I'm gonna do. Thanks guys. This is the Dominique Cosmetics. sure what the name hold on is um I guess it doesn't I guess I won't be telling you uh-huh it was like brown sugar or something like that when I ordered it. I can't, it's not on there. Um, let me see, I just got a new lipstick from, oh, here it is. Um, oh, this is from the Give Them Lava and it's called Bubba. Yep, cute packaging. Looks like marble, right? Yep. Beautiful shade.
that smells good and it feels very very good on the lips like very good very nourishing on the lips so um now my liner so put us throw on some liner because I don't know okay this is from Seraphine Botanicals this is the Luna liner so I'm just gonna one little second Draw that on. And then we can go into our thoughts. Oh, shit. I just hit that up against the thing, guys. Pretty hard. Probably fuck the whole tip up. Okay. All right, didn't do too, too bad. So, um, let me see. Mascara. 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 I don't know if I have a new mascara. Because maybe I did. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just going to use my go big or go home right now. Because that's what's right here. All right. All righty. I don't know where my Blink Cosmetics one is. Because that's the tubing mascara. And I like that one a whole lot. Like, that's my favorite one. Because it's effortless to take off. You know, who doesn't? Who doesn't like something that's effortless to take off? So that is my favorite. But I'm not gonna hold you guys up longer. And I'm sorry about all the noise outside. I record by the window. It's not even open. That's just how loud and noisy. It is beautiful outside today here in Maryland. Um, it was like gotta be at least uh, 70 75 degrees outside maybe a little bit warmer somewhere around in there though it's very very beautiful outside <sighs> my nose okay guys so here we go this is our look um our final look I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys um, enjoyed trying the new products with me. I'm sorry, I'm looking at at, at it in here. Um, so, recap on everything that I've used. Okay, I used the By Terry Hyaluronic uh, Primer. And then um, I used the Chanel foundation and the um, Lancome uh, concealer. I used Ace Butte blush. I used the Lorac setting powder. I used between Ace Butte and the Kenya, no, I just used the purple, didn't I? I just used the um, Ace Butte highlighter palette. And I dipped into the Pure Defense for my eyes, as well as the Persona Cosmetics. And I believe I touched into the Wander Beauty. I'm not sure. If I didn't, I'm still going to. There's a gazillion more looks I want to. I haven't even got to touch some of those shimmers yet, guys. I just messed with the purples. There are some golds in there that are the, oh, just wait, just wait, just wait. I, I have to play with them. That's, it's very nice. I used the Dominique Cosmetics lip liner and the Give Them La La um, lipstick in the shade Bubba. 
So, and that's it. And then I used my new um, ColourPop brushes for most of the look. So, everything that I've tried, I am very, very pleased with how it looks. I'm very pleased with how it, like, how it turned out. How easy it was. The foundation is amazing. It looks so beautiful on the skin. It really does. It's, um, it has a blurring effect that it's, um, I don't know, you know, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful foundation. It's, um, I think it was $60. Um, I'm almost positive. Yeah, it was 60 bucks. And, uh, so yeah, yeah. In case you want to try it, it's well worth it. It's beautiful. You don't need a whole lot, as you see. Um, and let's see how it lasts. If I have any issues, I'll definitely let you know to save your coin. But as right now, I'm loving it. I love how it looks. And I would definitely jump on that one because it's beautiful. I seen it on the um, 21 Days of Ulta sale. So, though it wasn't on sale, unless $60 is on sale for it. I don't know but um yeah that that's not very cheap so um make sure you get your your right shade but the lipstick I am impressed with it's very very um it feels so good on the lips it feels like I put on a um a really nice hydrating lip balm not a lipstick at all it just feels like a lip balm it feels really good it feels really good on the lips that's all that I gotta say so everything that I have tried this today this morning it or this afternoon I just I, I've been at work all morning what I'm talking about has turned out awesome um no problems nothing 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 I love everything I hope you guys enjoy it I hope you guys like the eye look even though it turned really smoky really fast I was not trying to go this deep, but um, I'm not mad at it. Uh, I hope you guys like it. <laughs> it's a little out of my comfort zone, but I'm glad it, you know, everything worked out just fine because it, it doesn't look bad. So I'm not, I'm not mad at it. And, um, here's our final look. And I uh, thank you for coming to spend some time with me. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you guys are notified of all my um, new videos when I upload them. And I will definitely be seeing you guys in the next one and in the next one and the next one here soon. Because I'm going, I told you, I'm going to be recording a lot more often. And this right here should be showing you because I know I, I just uploaded a video and here we are again. And I promise I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to keep it up. So, um, all right. I will see you guys in the next one. I love you. All right. Bye-bye.